Hello everyone, Chef Eric here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Feel free to subscribe down below and uh, like this video. Today we're going to be making beef lasagna. So here I have some ground beef, some chopped onions, some carrots, the celery and some tomatoes here. Get on over to the stove and start off with making our beef bolognese. In a large saucepan over a medium flame, you want to add in a glug of olive oil to coat the bottom of your pan. Bring your meat into patties and place into the, a really hot pan and brown the meat for about two to three minutes on each side. Our goal here is not to cook the meat all the way through, but just to brown it to give us the lovely meaty flavors. After those two minutes, just gently flip over your tiny meat patties. It's okay if it breaks apart. Uh, it will all break down into the sauce later on. Once it's brown, set it aside into another bowl and add in another glug of olive oil to coat the bottom of the pot. Now you're going to add in your onions, your carrots and your celery into the pot. and cook them down for about five minutes until they are soft and tender. Now we are going to add in our tomatoes that around and next we're gonna add in some tomato paste just to give us the vibrant red color and you want to cover this and cook it for about five minutes until the tomato has completely broken down now we're going to add in a few spices to season the tomato you're gonna add in some salt and some pepper don't add too much you're going to add the rest of the spices at the end just finally season the meat to taste Once the tomatoes are sizzling, we're now going to add in our meat. Now we can add our meat back into the pot and mix it around to combine it with our tomato. Add in about some hot water just to cover the meat all the way to the top now we're just gonna cover the meat up and let it cook for about 25 minutes until soft and tender now that our meat is fully cooked we are now going to add in the final seasonings Just taste it and see what exactly you need to add. If you want to add in some salt, some pepper, if you want to add a bit of heat with some cayenne, that's perfectly fine. We're just gonna cover that up and let the sauce the spices get into the meat. Now to make our bechamel or white sauce, we're going to start off with a roux which consists of equal parts butter and flour which will make a roux and that's what it's going to thicken our sauce. So 2 tablespoons of butter and 2 tablespoons of flour, whisk that together and cook it down until you no longer smell the flour and it's bubbly and odd looking. your flour is cooked down you're gonna add in your milk a little bit at a time uh, add it in three separate batches just to prevent it from the roux from clumping up it's recommended that you use cold milk now gently keep adding it and as the meat the, the milk heats up it's going to start to thicken 
with the help of uh, the butter and flour that he had mixed earlier and once it's thick and nice you're gonna add in a pinch of salt some pepper and any of your favorite spices here i just went with salt Now we're gonna assemble our lasagna. We have our white sauce, our lasagna sheets, our meat sauce. We're gonna start with a thin layer of white sauce at the bottom of the pan just to help make sure nothing sticks to the bottom. Then we're gonna add in about two sheets of our lasagna just uh, well just try and fit it in if you need to break a few pieces break in the corners or anywhere just to make it fit do what you need to do here i'm using a circular pan you could use a rectangular pan it's up to you whichever you like now we're going to add a layer of our meat sauce make sure your meat is not too saucy and uh, then have too much soup and then on top of that we're going to add a layer of our white sauce Spread that out nice and evenly and you're gonna add in two of your favorite cheeses. Here I went with uh, some Gouda cheese and some mozzarella. Whichever your favorite cheeses are, you can totally add them in. You're just gonna gently shred them and add them on top of your white sauce layer. The mozzarella is most recommended. It's just gonna make it nice and stretchy, but just add any of the cheese is to your preference now add in another layer of lasagna of your lasagna sheets and repeat this process over and over again until your meat or your white sauce are done and you've gotten about to the top of your pot once you get to the top uh, you're gonna top it with a layer of white sauce and all the remaining cheeses that are left that's what's going to be broiled under the oven and it's going to make a nice and crispy top now we're gonna bake this uh, at 180 degrees for about 30 to 40 minutes uh, most recommended you cover it 